We bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. You encounter the strength of God through the unity and fellowship of believers. Let me tell you something, people of God. The enemy, if the enemy succeeds in creating a barrier between you and the body of Christ, then you'll become susceptible to the attacks of the devil. There are people today, the enemy is separating them from the fellowship of believers. The enemy is creating a barrier between you and the body of Christ. The enemy is creating a wall between you and the fellowship of brethren. If the enemy succeeds in doing that, then the enemy will have, we will have managed to gain an entrance in your life and to attack you. Remember the Bible says in Proverbs 27 verse 17 that as iron sharpens iron, so one man will sharpen another. The body of Christ may not be perfect, but we need each other. I repeat, the body of Christ may not be perfect, but we need each other. When a lion goes out hunting, one of the surest ways that the lion uses to make sure that it gets its prey is by the lion separating its prey from the rest of the animals or from the rest of the other prey. It targets one of it and it makes sure it pursues it without changing focus to any of the animals that the lion would likely prey on. And by doing this, the lion would separate the prey from the rest of the animals that are being hunted. And that will be the end of that prey. That's how the enemy behaves with God's people. He separates us. He makes sure that we isolate ourselves from the presence of God, from the house of God. The word of God cautions us in the book of Hebrews that we should not be in the habit of forsaking the meeting together of brethren. Do not treat lightly, child of God, the contribution of other believers in your life. Don't treat it lightly. There are people who reason today that I don't need any person to add value to my life. I just need God alone. God has put your brother and your sister in the same fellowship with you. Because God knows you cannot do it alone. The Bible refers to the body of Christ. It compares the body of Christ to the body of a human being. And there's a question that the Apostle Paul asks. That can one organ of a body make it without the other organ? Definitely is not possible. You need your brother. You need your sister. Just like the same way. The hand will need the leg. The eye will need the nose. You also need me. I also need you. So do not underestimate the contribution of believers in your life. Remember when Peter was put in prison in Acts chapter 12, verse 3 to 19. The word of God says that it was the church that earnestly prayed to God for him. And as the church prayed, God miraculously set Peter free. You need people to be praying for you. How will it happen if you isolate yourself? Even as a pastor, I need the church of Jesus to pray for me. Even the apostle Paul, in one of his letters, he requests the church to be praying for him. Because we need each other. Praise the name of Jesus. We draw our strength. We encounter the strength of God in the fellowship and in the unity of believers. As in the Bible said, I think it should be Psalms 133, that behold, how pleasant, is, how pleasant and good is it when brethren dwell together in, in unity. For there God commands a blessing 
There are blessings that you will encounter in this life when you dwell in the fellowship of believers. Can somebody say amen? In the book of Acts chapter 13, the word of God would say that while the apostles were gathered together as they were praying and fasting, the spirit of God spoke and said, separate for me Paul and Barnabas for the work which I have set ahead of them. Let me tell you, people of God, at times God will speak when we are in fellowship with believers. At times prophets will come when you are in fellowship with believers. At times the, the gift of healing will manifest to be a solution to your, to, to your need, to the sickness that has attacked you when you are in fellowship for believers. Because even the gift of healing, even the grace of God, he has released it to the body of Christ. And when you attach your son, and when you belong to the body of Christ, then you become a beneficiary of the blessings that are commanded to the body of Jesus Christ. That is why every person needs to have a church. That is why every believer needs to have a pastor. You can't exist alone. You need to have a fellowship. You need to have a church. You cannot be an online believer. You need to have a physical church. We need to know who is your pastor. We need to know where do you fellowship. We need to know where do you give an offering. We need to know where do you give time. Because you need to belong to a church. Every believer needs to have a shepherd. You cannot be a believer without a shepherd. We, you cannot be a freelance believer. You must be a believer that belongs to a fellowship. That belongs to a body of believers. Because there you will encounter the strength of God. Jesus.